This is DC Danton Crow Crusader. Let's hope that my video is taking right now. Let's see. Let's check it out. Yes, it is. As you see, the farmer cut the grass yesterday and uh, he already rolled it up. How do you like that? So, oh, I guess he cut it on Saturday. Yeah, he cut it on Saturday. I guess it's going to rain. It's going to rain soon and that's why he got it up. Anyway, uh, it's the 29th of April. So, well, I'm just trying to debate where I should put down the food. Um, we have Seymour here. We have an onlooker here who's ready to take a video. I have no idea, but probably something not good. But what do we care? If he takes a video of me, then I'll take a video of him. Okay? So, let's, let's do that. It's not illegal to park here. So I don't know. Just go walk your dog and mind your own business. Um, I'll in tour of them. Just don't get the walk, man. There is feel upfall here. Aber nicht für mich. So, uh, let's move on. He said, uh, throwing down trash is forbidden. Really? I'm throwing down trash. Food for starving birds is trash? Wow, it just never ceases to, uh, to amaze me, right? Well, that's what you got. So, let's go down and throw this down here for our little birdies. And then I'll figure out where I'm going to throw the food. Is it going to be in the middle of the food field? Or is it going to be here? We are little sparrows here. And throw them down. Like I say, it never ceases to amaze me how many people who have dogs are so anti-bird, right? That just you just don't know. It's just unbelievable, isn't it? Right? Unbelievable. You can just pull your hair out every single day here okay one or two nice days of weather and all the evil ones are out the ones who hate birds that is you know what it's cold outside but when you're in the sun it uh it's rather warm so, I think I will put this here, no. I think I'm going to go out in the middle or in the side here, perhaps. Birds are not here because the tractor was here. Now you have a guy on the field with his dog. That just never ends. But I'm late. But we have phone calls to make. And uh, you can't get a hold of the people until after 8 o'clock. Um, so, so, yeah, that, that was that was a problem. So, what I'll do, I think what I'll do is, um, since the bales are over there, I will go and put it, uh, put it over here. Let's put it down over here. Away from the collecting the bales. We'll put it over here. Away from that. Okay. Put our little nuts here. Put them all in a pile. 
easy for the bird to get to. Okay. It's far away enough from the street. Pigeons are there, they don't care, do they? He's walking his dog there. Imagine that man telling me I'm throwing uh, trash. Really? I wasn't even putting any uh, bird, bird food down yet. But he knows who I am, obviously. Doesn't he? Okay. Put this down here. Okay. There we go. I think that probably was a good choice. Birds probably will not come down. Not with this guy. He's just absolutely not paying attention to his dog. We are hatefully idiot out there, as usual. It's amazing how very little those people work. Constantly, the smokers are constantly out there every half hour, it seems. So, we'll see what happens. See if Seymour comes down. We get some extra nuts I'm going to keep in a car in case we see somebody. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. We actually have some birdies today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Eight silver gulls. I guarantee one of them is Seymour. They're all after the eggs. Gosh, you're dominating today. Look at those silver girls. Look how they're dominating. Look at that. Oh, that's right. There's a little bit of chicken in there. It's a little bit of leftover chicken. I had to cook up uh, chicken broth for a uh, little mealy. Ten. I actually count ten silver girls today. Or is that one mule girl? trying to figure that out. I think I think there's one mule girl there. Anyway, they pulled out the eggs, they got the chicken, and the rest is left for the uh, for the crows. There aren't very many crows here at all, are there? Not many at all. Not many birds in general. That is the most silver girls that I've seen uh, in a group. And I counted 10. And I've never counted 10 before. So... But uh, I think I picked the right spot. It's far enough away from the street and uh, away from these bales. I'm kind of situated on this half of the field. Oh, here come our little ducks. A little pair of mallard ducks. It's nice now because we can see them um, where they were hidden in the tall grass. Oh. Another guy coming in there, getting more to eat. It looks like the ducks are headed over to the other spot where I dumped yesterday. So, but they may come back. Perhaps there's too many birds there right now, right? Ah, here's our little sparrow. Ah, oh, that must be Petey. That for sure is Petey. But they got some sunflower seeds there. Oh, I had some nuts in my hand there. I was waiting for something. Here, come back. Here, the ducks are coming back. Anyway. Oh, look at our silver gulls. They're uh, sitting on the uh, ramp. They got what they wanted, and then they're just uh, chilling out. 
This is DC Danton Crow Crusader. Got a lot of things to do today. Uh, Chi Chi goes in for her operation tomorrow to remove the tumor and have her teeth cleaned and her nails cut. And it's a very big day for our little Chi Chi who will be under anesthesia tomorrow. So uh, I've never had her under full anesthesia. Hopefully she'll do well. So I want to wish you a good day. Uh, love your birds, stay safe, uh, fight the good fight, as they say, and I will uh, I have to be there 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, so there will probably be no video tomorrow. I will put the food down. We've got to leave like 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, uh, so uh, they need to prepare Chi Chi, and uh, they're going to do a blood test before. And as long as the blood tests, that, that's an hour there, so I'll lose some time. But I'm requiring that because uh, anesthesia is very dangerous for cats uh, and dogs alike, but even more so for cats. And you want to make sure that their blood work is good. And um, since, uh, since she'll be there, uh, they might as well do the blood test first. Everything looks good then they'll proceed on with the anesthesia. So just as long as they see that there isn't any uh, problems there before they put her under full anesthesia. Okay, enough of my lecturing. I'm going to get going. Uh, have a lot of things to do and Bryant has dialysis this afternoon, so we're, we're on the go.